Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Deluxe, which was just released with the Doomsday Host DLC. And as you can see, this is the DeLorean from Back to the Future. This is a motherfucking Back to the Future vehicle and it flies. And it has gold wing doors. Oh my God, <laughs> this vehicle just looks amazing. And I did purchase this in a previous video where I was buying everything from this DLC. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out on my channel um, so I did purchase everything in that video so I'm not going to buy it right now uh, because I've already got it but when you do come to purchase this vehicle it's going to cost you either 4.7 million or 3.5 million dollars depending on whether you do a mission to get it for the trade price and if you are not flush with cash in GTA I suggest you do the mission to get it for the trade price because it is significantly cheaper uh, around about 1.2 million dollars cheaper so enough of the chit chat ladies and gentlemen, let's get into my reservoir facility and see what sort of customizations we can do to this Deluxo. So here we go guys, we're now going to customize this Deluxo. Uh, so we're going to start with the armor as always, we're going to get that 100% body armor, we've got the brakes, get the race brakes and we've got the engine, we've just got the basic level 4 engine upgrades and we move on to the exhaust, so we're moving on to the cosmetic side of this vehicle now and as you can see they're just pretty bog standard, nothing spectacular. Um, but these overall exhausts look pretty cool, so I'm going to go with them. Then we've got a front bumper, and, you know, again, so far, not nothing spectacular in the way of customizations. I'm going to you know, keep this quite classic. I don't think I'm going to really change anything on it, to be honest, um, because I think all them bumpers, I don't know, they look a bit too plain, you know, that's a bit too low for my liking. I actually like the stock bumper a lot, lot better. It leaves that classic vibe to it. So then we're going to move on to the grill. We get a lot of options for grills, man. What the fuck? You know, again, I'm not sure if I want to change the grill because I like the stock one. And none of these uh, stand out in your face really, really good. Uh, so that stock grill is quite cool. But then we can debadge it. That actually looks a lot nicer, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. But that one looks quite sweet, too. This one looks good. I like that. I like the secondary debadge grill. We'll go go with that. So then we move on to the hood, and we've got a good few options for the hood too. So we can change it to the secondary colour, which I'm not going to do. And then we've got the carbon hood, which I'm not going to do. Then we can get the race vents, they actually look quite smart. And then we can get the carbon race vents. So, straight off the bat, I mean, the customizations for this vehicle aren't overly impressive. But I am going to grab these race vents, I actually think they look quite smart. So yeah, we're going to go with them. So next we're going to move on to the lights, we're going to go into the headlights, we're going to get the Xenon headlights. I'm going to get a neon kit for this, I'm going to get front, back and sides. And I'm going to go with white for the neon glow. So next option is the respray, I don't think I'm going to go with a respray either because, you know, it's, it's classic colours. I don't really see any need to change this to any other colour, I really like the graphite silver colour that's going on at the moment so I'm going to leave it as that. Next we've got the skirts and can't really see anything different because I can't move the car or move the camera around to see. Maybe I can't even go that way, can't go that way, can't go that way, what the fuck. Um, can't really see anything changing down there. So actually, secondary vented skirt. I can see a little bit of changing near the rear wheel. Fuck it, man. We'll go, go with a secondary vented skirt. We'll see what it looks like in a minute when I can move my car around. Then we've got the spoiler. Um, hmm, does it add it? It does add. It does have an added traction bonus, so uh, it might be worth getting if you want us, you know, that little added traction. That one actually probably looks the best one, the flush mounted spoiler so far, because it doesn't look too obvious. If that makes sense. Now these ones are a definite no-no for me, so I'm de not getting one of them. But because I want the added traction, I am going to go with, yeah, I'm going to go with a flush mounted spoiler. So then we've got the transmission, obviously we've got to get the race transmission, we're going to get the turbo tuning, and for the weapons, oh my god, we can purchase weapons! <laughs> Shit man, I didn't even, didn't even think this was going to be a thing, I thought it was just going to be a flying car, but no, we've got missiles on this motherfucker too. That's going to cost you a pretty penny, but it's definitely going to be worth it. So then we've got the wheels, I'm not going to change the wheels, I'm, no, definitely not going to change the wheels. If we go to tyre, tyre enhancements, we are going to grab the bulletproof tyres though. And then to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. So again my dudes, there is my build on the Deluxo, the brand new vehicle, aka the DeLorean from Back to the Future. It was just released 
in the Doomsday Host DLC and this thing is a thing of beauty. We didn't really have to change much on it but we did have some little subtle changes but I think it's uh, added to it, you know, I think it actually looks fucking sweet. Didn't see any need to change the colour of the vehicle because obviously it's a DeLorean. I've never seen a DeLorean in any other colour than silver. But anyway, let's get onto the streets and see what sort of uh, the flying's like and all that sort of stuff. So here we go, now I've exited my reservoir uh, facility you can see <laughs> the deluxo in all its glory and this thing man is fucking beautiful it's so fucking nice like I said the subtle changes that I made with the grill the badging a couple of um, vents and vents in the hood and the the nice little spoiler I think oh and the exhaust as well I think that actually adds to it rather than take away um, not as much customization as I was hoping for. I was expecting a little bit more, maybe, uh, you know, massive exhausts on the back with some pipes going into the vehicle, you know, to make it look a little a little bit more like the Back to the Future car. Um, but no, we, di we didn't get any of that, unfortunately. But, you know, we sh it still flies. <laughs> it still flies. Oh, and this is um, really difficult to control. It takes a lot of getting used to. Uh, and as you can see, it's very sensitive. So you flip to there, and it's, I don't know, man, it's just so hard. And we've got the machine guns. I don't know, I don't think these are going to be very powerful, to be honest. I mean, because usually when you get machine guns on the front of a vehicle, um, they're pretty, pretty shotgun, to be honest. But yeah, as you can see, it does fly, and it's very difficult to handle. And so we're going to get a little bit lower, and then we're going to put the wheels back down, and there we go. Uh, now I've done all the engine upgrades and everything like that, we're going to have a quick test on acceleration and speed and all that sort of stuff so acceleration wise it does seem pretty sluggish I'm not gonna lie it's not it doesn't seem that great and um, top speed right now we've been you know going in a straight line for quite some time and uh, that's not out of this world either so to be honest the speed and the acceleration isn't great but it's got machine guns and it can fly <laughs> you know what I mean? It's fucking crazy. Uh, let's have a quick go around this corner and see what the handling's like. See, the handling seems okay. You know, it's, it seemed a bit slidey. It seemed like what to spin out a little bit, but it's very responsive. That's for sure. So the handling's definitely okay. Speed and acceleration is pretty sluggish, um, but you know I can live with that. And um, it can do this. <laughs> <laughs> at an instance, all you gotta do is hit X on the on the on the joypad or uh, whatever it is on Xbox A A I think it is, and it's gonna do this to you, and it's just fucking sweet, and it just I never thought that we would get the the DeLorean, never thought they'd add it. I mean, we obviously we've had Knight Rider, and what was the other one we had? What was the other one? I can't remember what the other one was now. Batman! We had Batman! Batman! We had the Batmobile! So we've had the Batmobile and we've had Knight Rider. Uh, we've now got Back to the Future, the DeLorean. What could be next? What could be next? Who knows? Only Rockstar knows that, I suppose. But yeah, this is the uh, the build and the review on the, um, the Deluxo. Do I think it's worth buying? Uh, depends what you want to use it for. If you just want to use it fucking about in free mode, then hell yeah, why, the, why, why not? It can fly. It's a flying car at the end of the day. What more do you want from GTA than a flying car? So um, just for that, is it worth 3.5 million or even 4.7 million, depending on whether you're going to do the mid trade mission or not? Um, is it worth 3.5 million in today's climate? Climate, I think it is. You know, uh, especially with all the other DLC cars, how much they are uh, for a special vehicle like this, and just the classic look of it. If you're a Back to the Future fan, all this sort of stuff, these are all different factors that can come into your you making your mind up on whether to purchase this or not. Uh, I definitely think it's worth it, you know, but it depends on how much money you've got in GTA. Would I buy a shark card to get this vehicle? Um, probably not, because uh, 3.5 million or 4.7 million in real money is a lot of fucking money, you know. And I don't think I'll be prepared to buy a shark card just to buy this vehicle. Because um, I think Knight Rider and the Batmobile are better than it, to be honest. It's got more features and they're a lot quicker and all that sort of stuff. Whereas this is cool, man. You know, it can fly, it can go up or go through this little gap just like that. And then I can just go back down again. So it hovers rather than flies, you know. So I can do that. It takes some getting used to, but once you get used to it, it is quite easy to control. 
But um, yeah, I think um, probably the Rona 2000 and the Vigilante are probably worth the money a little bit more than this, to be honest, just because of the speed aspect and uh, you can do it. it's got missiles and all that sort of stuff but anyway guys this has uh, been my review and build on the Deluxo the brand new Deluxo I think it's amazing I think it's awesome it's a, it's a welcome addition to the game in my opinion um, but yeah that's it that's going to be the end of the video hope you guys did enjoy if you did please smash a motherfucking like and if you haven't already why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content and until next time guys I'm out adios